Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm doing a quick little everything I know about rogues, so to speak. Um, you know, just like with the Huntress, I really only have a few tips for just rogue specific. And they mainly revolve around the Cloak of Shadows. So almost like anything, if it's three out of three full charges, well, you're missing valuable time when that could be recharging and the Cloak of Shadows gets stronger the more you use it. So I'll go ahead and use it once right off the bat and see we have four turns of stealth before it's going to take another charge. So I will unstealth now by clicking on it again and keep it at two of three. And basically the rogue gets bonus damage from the starting weapon, the dagger against unaware enemies. So you get bonus damage when you surprise an enemy with an attack. The best way to do that, of course, is with the cloak or going through doors. You can also do some little finagling with grass and pillars. Okay, so the snake, I definitely have to go cloak. Or I could also do this if we wanted to save the cloak. Like I could do uh, this one, get the attack there. And then I could do it again here with the rat. Oh, no, that was not it. But you'll see the exclamation point. Yeah, the exclamation point did it. Okay, I mean, I should use the cloak there, but... Just wanted to show that little trick there, going around corners to get extra surprise attacks. And here we go, early rogue. Um, I mean, actually, honestly, all the time, I do like to use traps as much as I can to our advantage. So right now we are one, two away and the rat is also two away. So unfortunately it's probably gonna hit us. And I think it'll always, cause then one, two, yeah. We'll always be equal distance. So I actually like to save my throwing knives for um, gnolls and crabs later on. So what I'll do is step back one and I'll wait. I'll get the surprise attack and then I almost always cloak and I just finish it off because you're guaranteed to get that hit when you're when you're invisible like that. And the thing I hate the most is having the enemy at one hit and like dodging. If it dodges me or I don't do enough to finish it off, like there, I was just trying to give an example. So the snake is actually a good candidate for the uh, the throwing dagger throwing knife I mean I don't know if I can make this corner though I'm gonna try because I don't think I lose durability if I miss right five out of five let's give it a shot let's try up there I don't think it's gonna hit no I don't and it yeah it didn't count so we're good on that um you know I shouldn't have picked up that gold because that take took a turn and it gave the snake a chance to wake up can I hit it now I think I can hit it now there we go good we want to hit it when it's sleeping because or else it's gonna have its uh bonus so when you're playing zoomed in like this you can just like move around and you'll see a little notification up here if you see an enemy so our full charges again i'm just gonna go ahead and use it i don't want to be full charges i really want to get this leveled up as fast as possible yeah so here we have an enemy we can just click on it and it'll show it to us okay it's a rat no big deal. I'll just uh, wake it up and bring it down. And we'll do the surprise attack and cloak and finish it off. So that way it only really was able to counter attack us once off that first surprise attack. The You know, the rogue's strength is the cloak and its talent point. Um, I don't think it'll show us, but if we go in here, will it show us? Mm, this one, tier two. The rogue will not wake sleeping enemies until he is adjacent to him. So while he's not adjacent. So yeah, I almost always put two points in that immediately as soon as I can, because then you can really pick and choose your fights, especially in the prisons. If a prison guard is sleeping, just let it sleep. You don't have to wake it up and you can like just go ahead and pick off the easier to kill enemies. Did I get any potions yet? I did. This could be frost. I don't know. I will check though the rest of the room, the rest of the floor and see if I pick up any other potions. And you know, honestly, that's about it. You know, use your cloak. This, that do hit combo I do right there. And look, our cloak's at plus one now. So now we have four charges. That is going to get us throughout the whole game, basically. Um, and you know, as you get stronger weapons and you get the assassin, you're able to like kill things right away. And then... You know, I'm, I'm going to pause it here and I'll, and I'll think if I really have anything else to offer as far as tips go. So I explored the whole floor. There's a locked door there with the key behind it. No other potions as far as I could see. And since it's floor one, 
there should not be any hidden doors. So I feel safe to go ahead and just throw this up here. And that is, yeah, it's the frost potion. Fantastic. That's kind of short and sweet, you know, for the most part. Where I just did that Huntress video and where the Huntress is, you know, her main strength is her range. Well, just remember the Rogue's main strength is um, his ability to pick his fights and, you know, choose your battles. Use your cloak often. Use it regularly. Regularly. Try and kill enemies in two hits. You know, one surprise through the door and then cloak and then another surprise attack. And as soon as you can, in my opinion at least, I would like to get this talent point, the silent steps. And you know those really annoying enemies, just let them stay asleep. Just just annoy, just you know, dodge them. And also, let's see here. I could show one thing quickly. Um, oh wow, there's two of them. So when you have silent steps on. If we look at the talent, the rogue will not wake sleeping en enemies while he is not adjacent to them. So you can, you know, be up here and walk around and you'll never wake them up. But if you step next to them, you have a chance to wake them up. So you can use your cloak to just sneak by and just go one. And then, and then once you're past, you can take your cloak off. Well, you can actually save a charge of the cloak by taking it off while you're right next to them. So this... Since I don't have the talent, it's not going to work, but let's just say I did. Unstealthing like that didn't take a turn. And since it didn't take a turn, it didn't give them a chance to roll to see if they wake up or not. So that that never happened. So then you'll step out and now it rolls and then the silent steps uh, talent kicks back in. So if you're, you know, only have one charge left of your cloak, you can uncloak one early and then step out. But, you know, that's really it. Um... So stay tuned for tomorrow where I'm going to focus. I'm actually going to pick up right here where we're leaving off now. So probably with both these gnolls coming after me. And we're going to do just like we did with the Huntress where we play this early game and we go through until we get that power spike that's going to carry us into the late game. Because, the you know, like the Huntress, the Rogue was the other one where I see a lot of the comments and the Reddit posts saying, like, yeah, hey, I keep dying in the caves and etc. So yeah, stay tuned tomorrow for that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for supporting the channel. Cheers.